Good morning. This is Brene Flournoy. Whoops, that cam wasn't even supposed to be on yet. Anyway, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, July 12th, 2022. Oh, I'm struggling. That's still a struggle. But I hope that you're well. I'm in here about to create a cute little watermelon slice. Let me hold this up. Oh, let me get my ice cream. I did the little ice cream cone yesterday. Okay. Let me put that down there for just a moment. And I did this little watermelon slice uh, the other day. Let's see if this is better. The light, it's uh, it's pretty true. Let me, if I tip it up like that, then the red is a little bit better. So why don't you just come on in here and um, let's paint this up real fast. Yesterday, um, <laughs> let's say the broadcast might have been maybe 20 minutes, and I think I maybe painted seven of those minutes. Anyway, let me put this on over here. Let me get some background music going. I want to do so many things. I got started on this little cute birdhouse yesterday, but um, there's so many wooden cutes and things that you could do on canvas that uh, are easy. Uh, if you take it step by step, by all means, anything that I show you here, add your own flair to it. Okay. Add your own secret sauce. Let me see. Let me make sure that you know that you could do this for a little picnic in the park. You guys are going out. It's like, okay, they'll be on the slides for a little bit. They'll swing call them over, do a quick little painting. You'll see it doesn't take long. So I'm going to tell you to maybe double the time that I do it. If it takes me 10 minutes, just maybe allow 20 minutes, half an hour for setup, getting the paints out, cleaning out. The wind is probably going to blow something around. <laughs> How do I know? I just had a vending event. Uh, I didn't have it. I was a participant in it. I forget about outdoors. It's something else. Anyway, let me go ahead and get this together. Let me know what you are creating. You know, I always want to know. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of red. And as you see, I'm going to put my little finger right here. I don't put out a lot of paint. If I need more, I'll add more. I hate to throw it away. So a lot of times after I go off air, there are... Um, you know, there's a lot of paint left over there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my God, don't make me tear up in here. Hello, beautiful, my beautiful Jasmine. I'm going to send you some air hugs. Oh, peace to you, beautiful. Let me keep going. Oh, I hope your little ones are watching somewhere or catch maybe catch the replay. Oh, girl, don't start me tearing up. Oh my goodness. I had the honor of working with that beautiful Jasmine woman for about a year. Oh, and she's such an encourager. So I'm so grateful that um, our paths crossed. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of yellow. I'm going to keep going because I could, oh, let me suck them tears back up. Oh, my goodness. So she encourages women. I'm going to say that. And when I tell you, you need you a jasmine in your life. Okay. All right. I'm going to just say that. So I've got the red. I've got a little yellow. I've got a little blue. I am going to squeeze out a little bit of, squeeze out a little bit of white. Could I do the black seeds? I made this one seedless. Was that lazy? I made that one seedless. Anywho, let me squeeze out a little bit of white. Oh, one thing that I do want to do. Is put a little glaze on it. Now I'm looking for it. I've cleaned up. I've put things away. Let me put some background music on. Um, I am going to. Put the background music on. And then. Um. Let me make sure because that glitter. Now, back in the day, they didn't 
provide us with any good or paint. It was always that loose, fine glitter, and it gets on every <laughs> everything, uh, and it stays around probably weeks after you know the event or the project. So I'm so thankful for the glitter paint. So you're gonna see some glitter paint on just about everything. I think you might be able to see some of the dried sheen here. Just a little bit of, let's see if we can get up here to the light. I think you can catch a few of those little flakes up in there. So I'm going to put some of that over my watermelon while um, we get, hello, I thought I hit play, y'all. So sorry. I don't know what to do. Okay, so this, I'm going to hold this here, is by Craftsmart. This is a Michaels company. Let me see. And it's crystal. They have others, but I've fallen in love with this one because it's just kind of generic. Um, I'm going to say kind of holographic, like my background back here, like little flecks of that, and uh, suspended in a clear going to say it's highly gloss but like a, a satin sheen so I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of this here right back in that same spot and if you think about kernels of corn I know green peas are not as popular as they they were back in the day because we didn't have a whole lot of choice <laughs> when we when we went to the grocery store it was corn peas you know maybe canned carrots or potatoes or something like that so I have a separate dish. Let me move this over because my watermelon isn't even on the screen. I have a separate dish. So we're eating the dessert first. Okay, it's 832. We'll be out of here by, by 9. Okay. So I wet my brush. Right? I don't want it. This is still a little bit too wet. You just want it damp because it just the water on there just kind of helps the paint slide off. That's what I tell the kids. That's the only way I can explain it. If you've got a better, better way of explaining it, please let me know. So I'm going to dip just a little bit. You know, we don't want the paint to come all up to the metal. And, you know, that, that right there will show that you need some of these art tips over here. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm not sure how far this will go. So I usually start off with a little bit so I can estimate. I'm always doing a little bit of math. All right, so a little bit kind of goes a long way. So I now know that I can go ahead and get a little bit more. All right, get a little bit more, but it's still not going on up there. So I am. Usually I will put it in all kinds of different directions. I'll vertical, horizontal, diagonal to make sure it's in all of the grain, all of the grooves that are there. And then I will smooth it out in one direction later. So that is all the way covered. And if you just wanted to highlight maybe just the red, you could. I'm just gonna use that last little bit right here, like right along the top. Now maybe right along the top, I might decide to it so that is going to just sit over there to dry now sometimes I do too much now if I didn't have the glitter it really looks quite believable so I'm gonna clean out this brush separate from the other one why didn't I put any on here maybe maybe tomorrow so I'm gonna set this over here I'm going to move my water so that the watermelon is kind of right there on screen. Let me move this. I'm going to set my little birdhouse over here. And we're going to bring on the main ingredient of the day. You know what? Why are you looking at me? 
Why isn't this? <laughs> Why isn't this camera down over here, somebody? You know I like to have that. I keep, I keep, I keep wondering why am I seeing myself? Anyway, we will carry on. All right, so my brush is now clean out over there. And now we're ready. Make sure we're good and good and good in that light. I think we're good. Now we are ready to go ahead and get started. So my brush, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of water. I'm gonna add a little bit of this white down here. Why did I put all that water there? But anyway, I know it's gonna soak up really fast. I do have quite a bit on here, so let me let me dab some of that off. And I use this kind of like a mop. I'll dry it out and I'll go back and I'll soak up some of it. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little bit more of this white near the bottom. Cause you know, the watermelon is usually pretty red and juicy in the core. All right. So while that's doing its thing, I'm just gonna go on over here and mix up a little bit of green. Usually I like to start off with a lighter color. So I've got a little bit. I'm just going to come along this edge. I don't have all the lights on. I haven't brought them back in from the bending. Uh, well, I was finishing up a portrait plastic too, so I haven't brought them all back in yet. You don't have to paint the sides, but because it's a watermelon slice, I thought I would. Let me try to make sure I aim it to the light so you can see. So, I am going back in, picking up a little yellow, a little, little blue. And it's okay if it gets on the front or the back a little bit, you can always clean that up. All right, so I think I'm going to put a little white on there, so I'm just kind of streaking that along. So it's not just all the same to mimic that pattern a little bit. So just a few little subtleties. No one else might might not know, but you'll know. All right, so we're gonna get some of this along this little edge on the front. And I should have timed this part right here. Uh oh, you can't even see, but let me move this. Oh my goodness. I am pulling a little bit of that green. And now I'm just going to wipe it off and get just some of the white and a little yellow. And you just blend it up a little bit. You don't have to spend a long time on this part. And if you don't like what you did, then you can always change it. I'm going to grab just a little smush, more, a little more, sh <laughs> I can't even get the word, a little smidge of white right here for the rind. Let me I'm go in here near the bottom again and kind of make that super white right here. All right. So you just smooth it out a little bit. Now I'm going to clean my brush. And I don't know why I'm using the water that has the glitter in it. All right. So now I've gotten all the green out. Because you want that red 
to be nice, fresh, and pure. So I am going to go back in here with a little bit of white down here at the bottom like we started off with. All right, and now I'm going in with red right at the top. I'm just going to kind of blend it on down. Going for that red right at the top. I'm going to throw a little smidge of yellow up in here. I'm making this a little bit more intense than I did the other day. Come on, tab with the brown. Why did I? Why did I feel? Because that's my business. Oh my goodness, she is so fabulous. All right, so I picked up a little bit more of the white. And I'm just trying to push that into little wooden grooves. So it's kind of pinkish a little bit down here. So I'm just kind of blending it. You know how some say that X, boop, 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 X, X, X. Sometimes I'll do a double X. And I'm, as you see, I'm pulling in some of that red. Soften that edge up here. You don't have to, but it's those little details that just seem to help. All right, so you see that? That did not take long. This one is a little more pinkish, bright pink, but this one here has a little bit more of the yellow tones that would actually be glass of water. I hope that you're seeing some of that cool glitter. So that was super fast, super easy. And I'm going to say that maybe took 10 minutes. So make sure that you allow that time to double if you're working with kiddos. Now, this one isn't quite dry. Trying to get in here and show the camera without the light. Going in the wrong direction. There we go. All right, I think we're slowly getting it. Slowly bring it in, tilt. All right, so I'm trying to, there we go. <laughs> so we can do a screenshot for the thumbnail later. All right, so one of them is in the light. What am I doing now? But anyway, I'm gonna get on off of here. Thank you for joining. Hoping that uh, you will spread a little art joy somewhere. But before you spread it, hopefully you're getting some for yourself. All right? Do something that makes your heart sing, makes your heart come alive, that fills you with joy and gladness, even if it's for 10 minutes. Okay? What did I do? I just went live on the painted pose, uh, saying that I do have someone on my easel that sometimes the private paintings I can't show. So... I uh, was going to ask them, who should I paint next? So I'm going to ask you, who should I paint next? Now, this is my nod to Christmas in July, okay? Of course, you can see the little glitter, the little gleams. All right? So that's back there. And Bob is here. He's just not on camera. Bob is just off camera. So, you know, that's my nod to Bob Ross as well. And there's so many other amazing painters. But, you know, we grew up on about PBS. I'm a PBS kid. Old school electric company. Old school Mr. Rogers. Sesame Street. Well, walk down memory lane, but don't stay back there too long. Come on up and live life now, okay? All right, I am looking... I can hit the right button. Okay. 
enjoy your day. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to come on maybe one more day this week because I will probably just be popping in a little bit next week, maybe showing you what I'm working on. But I might not be painting live, showing you step by step, explaining what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, if you have any ideas, oh, almost knocked that over. If you have any ideas, should I paint a chocolate cone? The light is so bright, y'all. Let's see if we can aim it the right way. Should I paint a chocolate cone? I enjoyed the strawberry one. But I know I need to get in here and paint the birdhouse. I need to finish that. I want to make it cute. So many things. When I was saying about the portraits, because on the fine art side, with uh, commissions and uh, private paintings, I may not be able to show you, but I am wanting to do a... portrait workshop on my fun art side so I've got all of these beautiful let me try to hold it up wooden pieces goal hashtag by August 15th these should be online and on Amazon for you to, to purchase a set of four Pardon me back here, y'all. But you've seen this uh, portrait around for a moment. So uh, I also have that in wood. So let me know if you'd like to take a portrait class with me. I'm going to say it's a workshop. It'll be probably a three-day workshop. Three, maybe four. Because I want to cover, you know, the measurement the skin tone, um, those are the main things. I just want you to do that. Those are the two main things that I know that I can really help move the needle forward. Watch for that coming soon. Because then after that, I think I will have a an art uh, membership where I'll have maybe different tables. I know some people do different classrooms. I may have different folders or something like that. But if I think about it as the art room pop-up shop, we've got a variety of tables. These people over here might be the young people. Over here, they might be the seniors that are just laid back. Over here, the, these people want to hop from table to table to table. So I think, I think I'm going to have a little bit of everything in there, but I'm going to start off with the portrait. I can't stop with the wooden cutes, though. I cannot stop with these. So I want that in there as well. You have to tell me whether or not you want your thing shipped to you every month. Um, I like getting packages. It's sweet and nice. It's a refreshment. Or whether or not you want it shipped every quarter. You could pay for the year. If you pay for the full year, there'll be a few more bonuses in there, a few more custom things. Um, if you pay month to month, you'll still have access to so much, but you won't get some of the bonuses. And some of you, might, you know, I just want to just buy a box here and there. Uh, then, of course, that'll be a little bit more expensive. Uh, what do you call them? The one-offs. So I'm just out here talking. I'm, I'm letting you guys know of some things that's coming up. Anyway, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, every day is a holiday, right? I'm signing off, I'm done with the rambles, art teacher is finished, enjoy the rest of your day, happy Tuesday, I may pop on one more time this week, Or I may just post a video. I may not come on live. But if you need me, info at thepaintedpose.com. Pops, P-O-P-S, at thepaintedpose.com. And of course, Bernade at thepaintedpose.com. I'm out here. Hit me in the direct messages. Uh, YouTube. I don't think they have direct. 
then just have the comments. So YouTube, you would have to email me. Facebook, you would come to me with the direct messages. Twitter, you've got the comments, but I don't know if they've got direct messenger there. Anyway, I'm here. Let me know how I can help. You know I want you to create. And I, I can't draw a straight line. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want it straight anyway. <laughs> Let me tell you how to work with that little crooked line and show you what you can do. All right. I don't want you to be afraid. I want you to enjoy it. Step out of your comfort zone. Try something a little little new and different. That's what this girl is doing over here. Slowly but surely. Okay. The world is opening back up and we're getting back out here. So I may see you at a paint party around. I may see you at a vending event. Pop over and say hello. Peace to you. Have an amazing day. Thank <laughs> you.